What is going on everybody? Once again, thank you so much for stopping by. If you guys want to know what awesome nifty tools that you'll need to own as a Duramax owner, make sure you stay tuned. guys so today we are working on a 2017 l5p duramax this is a silverado there's a lot of inspection cameras out there such as uh snap-on matco we're doing a turbo install we're currently here at ryan's diesel service and we're installing a 64 millimeter turbo one thing i've noticed it's really difficult to actually see the turbo pedestal bolts on that turbo So Ryan, what are we exactly looking for right now? Right now we are trying to find the pedestal bolt um, so that we can get lined up. Uh, this is the last one that we have uh, to come out. What do you think about the uh, inexpensive no, um, scope here? Actually, uh, pretty impressed. I have uh, one by, let's just say, a very large company. Um, so far the picture and clarity on this is actually really nice. Not gonna lie, I'm actually the quality just being far away, I know this is stupid, but just being on a pair of pants, the actual quality, you can see the dirt on the pants. If you're looking for a, a decent inspection camera, this would definitely be what I'd be going for. Perfect for at-home use. Taking on a little e-tape and uh, going around there. Going around, what do you mean? Uh, your stool. Ah, uh, yeah, that might work actually must say though that actually that battery doesn't last very long at all probably not lithium batteries for the good at home use diy guy this would be perfect oh yeah or even like a, a technician starting off you know yep, you absolutely what are the what are the like the expensive ones we go for you uh, know upwards of a thousand bucks Dang. i actually just priced a new one and it was like for, 1100 seriously <laughs> for a thousand bucks yep. definitely uh helped us remove the bolts out of the uh, turbo pedestal so that's cool Today's going to be really awesome because we're going to talk about nifty tools that you will need as a Duramax owner and one and only Ryan here, this guy right here, he, he owns a diesel performance shop and I think this would be a pretty fitting situation given that we're here, we have the professional tools that we're going to need, but more importantly you guys at home, the DIY guys, it may be a good idea to invest into some tools such as these that I'm going to lay out in front of you, it's very important. What is really cool is I actually use the OE Walk inspection tool here and it's really neat I mean it's very inexpensive and what I'll do is I'll leave a link in the description where you guys can buy something like this we've been using this in and out of the shop for the last week now and I actually have some shots of Ryan using this as we inspect the turbo pedestal bolts to remove them this is this would have came in handy when I installed the turbo on my LBZ and I didn't tighten the stupid drain tube on the back of the valley of the tur of the motor itself and I jammed my cell phone in there to try to see what's going on turn it on record this would be um, this, this would definitely be worth, worth its weight in gold. Probably nothing heavy duty like uh, the Rust Belt Mechanic and his amazing SP tools and snap-on stuff that he owns and his I mean, professional toolbox there. You guys got to start somewhere. And a set like this, you know, this is the great things for you guys to see and start out on. You know, these are really great tools for you guys to get started on. Yes, you are able to upgrade throughout, you know, your career, but starting out, ne necessary tools like this are things you need to focus on first. Now, Ryan, here at the shop, I know you yeah. use these, these tools day in and day out, probably if not daily. You betcha. Uh, can you explain to me each and every tool and why they're important and what you use them for? You betcha. Um, you know, being a Duramax owner, you guys, common things, you know, everyday use kind of tools, your wrenches, um, you know, oil filter wrench here we have. Uh, this also will dual as a fuel filter wrench for getting your fuel filter off. Um, this will be for the actual physical filter itself. This would be for your water separator. Now, one thing to note out, uh, you LML guys in newer, you're gonna have a different style wrench. This wrench right here would work for your 2001 to 2010. Um, 
Some guys I've seen use channel locks, just go right onto the sensor. Kind of not a good practice, you'll break the sensor. I get the sensor may only be 30 bucks, 40 bucks, but uh, this is definitely something you're gonna wanna actually use a good quality wrench to actually get on there. You're not damaging the sensor, or, you know, wires or anything like that. These tools here are gonna kinda go in correlation. Um, one thing that I can say that is kind of a common failure, kind of a thing that we see a lot is water pumps. Uh, this right here is gonna be your 36 mil 12 point socket. The, you're gonna need this to actually get your balancer off if you're gonna do a water pump on your Duramax. Uh, here we have a snap-on one. You can pretty much use any brand you want. Uh, one thing I would suggest is get a half-inch drive uh, so you can put a long breaker bar on there. Last tool that you guys are going to need, especially LB7 owners, is going to be an injector pulling tool. Uh, this right here, now, <laughs> I know I've read online some guys putting pry bars underneath the injector hold-down brackets and that sort of thing. Don't do that get the actual legitimate tool. Uh, this tool is made by Kent Moore. Um, I do know they have aftermarket ones uh, that are made on Amazon. Uh, I do like the Kent Moore one. Uh, I know years ago I had a guy that actually got an Amazon one. Not that I'm knocking those, but he put it on there and basically these two prongs here were basically bent on like the third injector he pulled. He ended up actually borrowing mine and got the rest of the injectors out. So definitely a good tool to have, um, you know, doing it inexpensive tool, uh, especially if you want a LB7, this would be a good one to keep in the toolbox. And here is a part number for you guys. It's going to be J is in Juliet 44639 right there. These are the six nifty tools that you guys should own as a Duramax owner. I hope this was helpful. Matter of fact, hey, we got Mark here at Kodiak Truck. Question for you, sir. Yeah. What is your favorite tool out of your toolbox since you do a lot of driveline repair? Probably the most thing I use is snap ring pliers. And I think I got almost every pair made that you can think of that open and close every which direction. These I use on the Magna cases because they just have two holes in the rear of the case to spread the snap ring. Uh, most of them are snap-on, um, a lot of Matco, Mac, um, that, and punches, and pry bars, and, you know, indexing pry bars, ones that you can index. You gotta get a bearing race out of somewhere, change angles. Okay, guys, so I hope this video was helpful, and uh, highly encourage you guys possibly look into purchasing those tools here. I'm actually gonna leave that one inspection tool in the description below. I really, really dig it. And this video is sort of leading on to the L5P that we are in the process right now. We got Logan over here waiting to get back to the job here. Um, but here at Ryan's Diesel Service installing that amazing L5P 64 millimeter turbo. Uh, we're really excited to get that thing fired up for you. So make sure you stay tuned from the uh, beginning stages, which I'm going to be posting an install video. And then after that, I'm going to be posting a sound video. So I hate to put you on suspense, but that's what we're doing. You guys see here, this guy right here, Kyle, Rust Belt Mechanic. Make sure you subscribe to his channel because he's also walking around with his camera so you guys can get other takes of the shop and what we're up to here. But other than that, guys, I do appreciate your time as always. Thank you so much for stopping by and we'll see you on the next video. Take care.